In this video, I'm going to update the progress of my newsletter project and I'm going to talk about the error that I'm facing while building this feature as well. All right, so let's get started. So this is what I'm doing so far. This is all my to do. Everything is checklist, everything complete right here. And this is the UI of what it's looked like right now. And I also deployed this one to a cell. If you want to test this one, I put the link in the description. So it's ready to test, but I haven't changed the domain yet. It's kind of weird, uh, this name. Anyway, let's try to test this one. So right now I'm going to enter my email. So when I click on this one, so it's going to send the email and it's going to toss, please check your inbox. And basically you can do this one only three times only because each link that I send you to confirm a, a, a live for 24 hours. So I mean one day you can send only three times only. And so if I go right now, I click on show and this is the new message that's sent. So as you can see, and we have like confirm and we click the link and the link right here is a magic link and and the domain right here as you can see it's that time it's not a domain with daily web coding so the reason is like i haven't bought a new domain yet that's why i'm using existing domain so this is this one and all right so right now i can just click on this one and so right now it's redirect me to the thank you page which is great and if we look back into the email list we have this one as well so as you can see i have my the email into my database great so right now i be able to save and everything's the user and the user flow is great as well and i also have the dashboard but everything here is static so i just finish it by today and so i'm gonna update it later all right so basically i follow this step right here great so right now let's talk about the error that i faced while doing this one so the problem that i faced while doing this one is related to magic link and so first of all, the thank you page that you see right here uh, is I wanted to do it protected, but right now it's not protected. So if you not authenticate or you just navigate to this one, you can access to this one. Anyone can access to this one. But initially, before I change uh, everything, so initially the, the, when I stuck is this one is going to be uh, protected because uh, when they click on the link, so because when they click on the link that I sent them, which means they are going to authenticate, right? So they're going to authenticate and so to, to and then make this one protected. It kind of makes sense as well. It's easy to do uh, because I think the user is authenticate. So it's all right. But the problem is that it's not authenticate. So when the user click on the magic link that I generate, the problem is happened with the authentication. It's not authenticate. The user is not login. And I'm not really sure why. I tested like for four hours, I spent days trying to um, figure out why it's not working. So I found out two documentation that's gonna help you. But right, um, so the first one is that first when I start doing this one and I, so if you look at to my code right now with the API, so basically I generate the magic link. I'm using the admin to generate the link, the magic link. And so the user click, it should supposed to be authenticated but it's not. So I was like, okay, right now let's try to follow the documentation instead and see if it's working or not. So I follow this documentation and it's still not working and I'm not really sure why. So basically uh, it sent the link right here, but when I click, it's not authenticated. Even right now, the link that I use right here, when the user click on this link, it's not even authenticated. The user is not authenticated. And so I was stuck right there. And so I spent like hours trying to find how to solve these issues until I found this documentation right here. So if you want to do like an email auth with the PKCE flow SSR, and which is you can see with Next.js and Swellkit right here. So we need to change from, uh, we, need, we, don't, we don't need to send the confirm email. So basically you need to send a token hash instead. So if you scroll down right here to the magic link template, so as you can see, we need to send the token hash instead of the confirm URL. And let me show you, if you go into your database authentication and email template and go to the magic link. So by default, you send the confirmation URL right here, right? But if you've wanted to follow this one, so you need to send the token hash instead. And after that, you need to create another route, which is confirm. So basically you send the token hash and then you need to confirm that by verify those token. So I follow this documentation as well and it's working. All right. So it's working, but it's working on my MacBook only and on my window, it's not working. So I, I am not, I'm not sure why as well. So after I follow this documentation right here, so it's okay. It's on Mac. It's okay. And on my window, which is not okay. 
So I'm not sure why is that the problem. I haven't posed a question to Superbase uh, team yet, but uh, maybe I need to figure it out on my own and try to test it more. You can also test this one to confirm that the error has happened. So basically, that's what happened to me. After I followed this documentation, I on my MacBook is okay, everything working fine, and my window is not okay. So I'm like, okay, now I'm kind of like, I'm done with this one. Let's try to deploy this one. So basically, everything that I do here, try to deploy this one. So when I deploy this one, sometimes uh, it work. The problem is that like this. Right now on Windows and Mac is okay on the deployment on the production, but the link that I send, the link that I send here, sometimes it randomly, it randomly expire. So it's it's randomly expire. So even the even the fresh link the user click it expire, and I'm not really sure on that case as well. It's like it I, I do not know how to solve that. So after everything here, so basically I try everything here just to make this sanctuary page is protected, which is not really necessary. But I'm just like okay, why the hell I cannot make the magic link work right? So I just test everything why it's not working so after everything i done and so i was like okay now i'm done and i i don't want to make this thank you page protected anymore so that's what i've been stuck so far basically i'm stuck with the magic link right here the implementation is not working for me and i follow this documentation and this documentation as well so let me know you can try to do with your own magic link so uh, and then you can uh, show me if like it's it working or not I will come back and update it, but right now I'm gonna move on with my feature. I'm not gonna stuck here because the slash thank you page here is not necessary, so I can just not make it protected. So basically, I'm not right now. I'm not making this thank you page protected anymore, so it's gonna be easy. So right, uh, so right now, how I save the user? So on how I save the user, it's also really easy. So basically, when I send the link to this one. And so whenever they click on the link, whenever they click on the link, so inside the Superbase, it's going to update. So if you look at the user right here, uh, so if you send a fresh email, so for example, I'm going to go into this one again. Hopefully, I'm not uh, banned. So for example, i testing this email. And okay, right now, I think I'm banning because I request too much. If I send, for example, the email, and it's going to wait for confirmation. So let's say if I send invite right here, let's say I'm going to go with this email, which is the invalid email. Hopefully it's okay. So as you can see right here, whenever the new user click on the form right here, so it's going to wait for verification. So basically we send the user with the link right here. So when they click on the link, the verification here is going to update okay so when they update this link when they update this information so i'm save them to the email list table so which is i wrote in the trigger right here i checked if the old confirmation ad not null and the new confirmation right here so basically this all this information and it's going to after everything good we're going to insert this one into the email list so this is how i save the user and and also when the user click on the link right here again so after they verify if they click on this link again so you can see we check we show them that this link is expired so how i check this one is really easy if you look at the code so basically um every link that i generated so you can see it redirect to the slash check right here and the check right here is just the client page that right here it's just reading the url and so basically, if there's something error happen, if they will show you the error uh, on the URL that which is the hash value. So I just check okay if there's start with error and it expire, I redirect them to expire page. And if it just start with error, if and if not end with expire, just redirect them to the error page which I have created here. And then else just re redirect them to the thank you page. And so every page right here is just very simple. So basically it's very simple from here. So I think if I try not to make the magic link work, I think the process is gonna be easy because uh, because I wanna make it work and I spend like almost days trying to make it work. So that's why it's spent a lot of time. In the end, it's still not working for me. So yeah, that's, that's the progress I'm doing so far. Uh, and so also with the uh rate limit and everything so i will send you the code uh, to my github so you can check the progress that i've done so far uh, right now and yep so i think that pretty much it so maybe in the next video i will try to uh, focus on the dashboard and send the 
templates of to whoever that subscribes and then i will try to make the magic link work as well so maybe in the next video or the next topic instead of my newsletter so yeah uh, let me know what you think about the progress so far and also don't forget to update me if you have tried with the magic link oh by the way with the magic link i use with the latest version everything so every package of the next chairs every package of the super base its latest version and so you can go ahead and test it out and let me know if it's working for you guys okay so i guess that's it for this video thank you for watching as always thank you bye bye